What is up YouTube gods and goddesses? It is your boy Mike from Duck Walk Professional and we're here at Proud Mary's right now. We are behind the scenes at the Stop the Heroin show. It is a couple of days before the show and we're in the process of securing the stage, the outdoor stage, and um, I'm making sure everything's good for where I want to be for my art exhibit, uh, me, um, the collective for the dope art show. We got me, we got Tucker Upper, we got fucking Sammy J, and we got Jimmy Bags coming out. We've got a couple other people coming out. Who knows? You know, you'll see some of the boys here, some of the gods and the goddesses. We also got over 40 bands here, Proud Marys. Um, it's a two day festival. So you come in, you give yourself uh, 10 bucks to benefit Stop the Heroin organization who are helping people to find. Uh, scholarships for sober living after they come out of uh, treatment and uh, they're really killing the game out here helping a lot of people so you give 10 bucks you get to come out you get to enjoy some bands you know see some people see some art there'll be some vendors out here it, it'll be something you uh, you won't want to miss so definitely come check it out and uh, who knows you might see uh, me around but right now we're just getting um, things ready on the stage. This is what we got going on so far here. Back there is the old stage that we had and then this is the new stage and it's a little it's a little like flimsy right here so me and Steve just went down to uh, Home Depot and we got some better plywood and we're gonna put that shit on there and uh, basically there's the pre-set up for the art show. We're gonna back it right into the corner right there. I'm gonna dig some of that dirt out so that I can get in there a little bit more, hopefully. And then there's gonna be our setup spot with the, uh, the bedroom ex exhibition right there. And then here we go. This is the outdoor stage. So that's it for right now. Uh, we'll get some stuff popping off here and we'll get the stage a little bit more secure and uh, Come along for the ride. And thank you. I appreciate everybody's support you The hard work <laughs> Without all the hard work from Steve building this outdoor stage and taking care of this, I don't think this event would happen. So make sure everybody thanks Steve. You. Okay, this is the stage we built. Thank you to Kusamano Builders. And you can see it's really stable and I'm gonna do a real jump to show you guys. Watch this center beam. Not much spring in that. This is sturdy as my dick when I see a, a real beautiful broad. <laughs> All right, we are here for the dream. We got Jeff over here getting ready to perform. What's up? How you doing. We got everything set up so far. We got the Christy. We're all in space now. We got the beautiful goddess here. Thank you for coming, Sammy. I appreciate it. Thank you for your help. <laughs> and we got the setup going for the dream. You know what's crazy is that this creates its own shadow, so it almost looks like it's a real fucking person. That's like awesome though. That's like such a cool picture with the shadow. You just have that up in your yard instead of like a scarecrow. Yeah, have that. But it w I wouldn't be scared of that though. <laughs> He's trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so let's help him out there so he can start getting monetized again. Mm -hmm. But, uh, what is your thing? Duck walk? Duck walk professional. Uh, is, is it easy to find? Because a lot of people are having trouble. 
Really? Not yours specifically. Uh, it's other. pretty easy to find. Yeah, just go duck walk professional. It should pop right up. I'm claiming anyway. It does for me. Yeah. But. Well, my one boy, my one boy Mike Flores. Yeah. There's so many Mike Floreses. Like, people were having such a hard time finding it. Oh, it wasn't okay. Yeah. It was like, dude, there was like 65 different channels that had the same name. Mike Flores, really? Yeah. Yeah, mine's just it's pretty easy. Be like, oh, I'm not the mob god anymore. You know what I mean? Like, that's fucked up. Hello, everybody. Let's get this event uh, started, shall we? I'm Jeff Moran. Uh, before I begin, I want to thank uh, Dave for bringing the sound out here. He's doing sound for the outside and for the inside. He's the guy that's here. <laughs> Unfortunately, I hate to be that guy that reminded me. These are guys that's making sure the trains are running on time, so. Uh, Performer. Anyway. Um, anyway, uh, thanks, to, thanks to him. Dave always does an awesome job out here. Anyway, um, I'm honored to be here uh, for Plan for a Great Cause. Um, I've had friends that have struggled with drug addiction, and um, it is, uh, remember, if you are a person that struggles, if you lose the battle but you win the war, remember, you still win the battle. So anyway, I'm going to play a couple songs for you uh, to get this... Uh, outdoor event, out, get the outdoor stage underway. The first tune I'm going to do for you is a tune originally done by a group called the Buffalo Springfield. Who's town determines where we're from? We're from South Jersey. I don't know who's which of our towns determines where we're from, so I'm just gonna broaden it. Um, so somewhere from there. Original tunes. Yeah. Getting ready for the setup, huh? Scratch on it. See it, right? I can see it now. See? You pointed it out. See? I didn't even know any better. I have no idea. Did you drop it? No, I don't know what I did with it, dude, really. Maybe that guy scratched it so you don't know the shots down. I think, though. It's really just that dot, though, see? It's these dots.
Oh, that's all. Ooh. All right, we got a little cover here. Um, it's from a Mega Man. Dr. Wiley. Dr. Wiley, for anyone
We still still one more? Okay. So thank you guys again for listening. Uh, thanks yeah. for uh, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank um, you. Stick around for the other bands. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna clean it up. Yeah. Okay. Five to 171. <clears throat> In 2016, 2,221 people died from overdose in New Jersey alone, up 40% from the year before, the majority having fentanyl in their systems. <clears throat> At this rate, the numbers for 2018 will far surpass any in years previous. In 2014, Cumberland County had one fentanyl death. In 2016, there were 24. Nationwide, there were 10,574 heroin-related deaths. Can you imagine, in the 10 years that we were in Afghanistan, we lost a little over 5,000 men. Yep. In one year, we lost double that. Why isn't anything being done about that? These, every one of those people matter. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. A survey conducted by uh, the Pew Research Center in 2017 says 46 percent of Americans know a family 
for a close friend who is addicted to drugs. Opioids account for six out of ten overdose deaths. <clears throat> so, what can we do about this? We're trying everything we can. Um, a lot of people are going after, I don't know if you guys know about uh, all the lawsuits that are coming about with Purdue Pharma and the big pharma pharmaceutical companies. So here's the thing, and this is my opinion, but this country was built on supply and demand. If there's a demand for something, there's going to be somebody that supplies it. So we've got this strict liability law, and I've stood up in a lot of places and said, we want this applied. Well, now it's being applied, and it's still not deterring the next drug dealer from taking over the corner from the previous drug dealer that's sitting in prison. So we're not going to stop these people from selling drugs, no matter what we do. Everybody says, fuck heroin, fuck kill these guys, you know, all this. But let's say, how about if we work on the people that are buying it? If there's no demand for this, maybe they'll go back to selling soup, you know, or something else. So if we work on the demand for these drugs, that means working on the people who are demanding these drugs. So we have to get at the root of this. At the root of this, we deal with in recovery. We deal with this in sober living. So what we cannot do is abandon the people who are in recovery. We have to support these people. These are the people that we're losing now. I don't know about you guys. Just by a show of hands, does anybody know of anyone, family, or a friend here that has died? <laughs> Look around. Yeah. So, um, at the root of this is self-obsession. So, at the root of our disease, we just want to be loved, and we need to be shown love. So, what I do, I go out and I talk to them. And I would recommend this. If you want to do something and you don't know what to do, take a gallon bag. And if you don't have any, my truck's full of them. I'll give you one. Go and get some toiletries. Get some deodorant. If you're ever in, like, Target or Walmart or whatever, go to the trial size. Get the little shampoos, the little conditioner, a little lotioner, a toothbrush, a little tube of toothpaste, a bar of soap, a washcloth. And when you see that guy standing outside of Walmart or outside of 7-Eleven or outside of Wawa asking for something, hand them that bag and tell them, you know, you love them. And then maybe when they know that somebody cares about them, you could make a big difference in their life. You know, so when I started doing this, when I got out, of, when I was in prison, I said, what am I going to do when I get out? I'm a felon. I'm not going to have many promising opportunities, so what can I do? So I'm going to do the best I can. Number one is I'm going to stay clean, no matter what. I'm not going to get high. <clears throat> so I decided, it came to me that maybe the reason I'm still here and my brother isn't is because I'm supposed to go help other people. So I said, well, maybe if I can help one person, just one person, it'll all be worth it. Mm -hmm. Well, there's been that one person, and there's been a, a lot. With the organization I'm with to date in the last two years, we've helped over 1,100 people get into treatment. <coughs> <coughs> They're not all successful, mm -hmm. but there's always that one. So I always say, after that one, just one more, so that there's not one more, um, reach out to someone, someone that you know is struggling. The stigma of addiction is very real. No more is it some junkie in an alley, all dirty and greasy, sticking a needle in his arm behind a dumpster. It's a judge's kid, you know. It's the secretary that's working at a treatment center. This is touching everybody. It's touching every single life in this country. So we need to do collectively what we can do by ourselves, we can do together. So let's all join together and be warriors.
Thank you. It's really important that you're here and this group, um, Stop the Heroin, is a great group. We hate it. And the reason, you know what, I'm going to take this down. Is that cool? Yeah, so the you. reason that I'm here and I'm speaking is because my sister's in, uh, in recovery. She was an addict for about 10 years. And we are one of the lucky ones. So our family fell apart and somehow has managed to piece itself back together. Whose birthday is it? Are you sleepy? No. Huh? Were you taking a nap? Huh? How are you? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna come check everything out? Let me put my camera away. That is cool, yeah. Which Thank you so much for getting my boy, man. No problem, no. I mean, I I was just doing the art pretty much, you know? So I just I just try my best whenever I'm out here to get him, you know? I, I know he's talented. that the little people out here, whether it's $5 or $10 or whatever we're raising, we are understanding this epidemic, we can beat it, we can talk about it, we can get help. But look, man, just understand that the people that are donating their time out here from North Step to Proud Mary's to the regular guy that's sitting having a Budweiser, I thank you, Jeffrey Owen, Proud Mary's thanks you, and thank you, Atlantic City, New Jersey, for your support. And thanks, guys. We have a tour of rock and roll. That's all I got to say. We got peers. We got food still going. Mike over here. Listen, what you guys are doing. Ah uh -huh. 
Can you play Friends for me? Friends? Oh, who's this? Alright, here's it's a really bad song. Oh, no. <laughs> well, try to be friends. Try. You'll do it. See you, Paul. I'll talk to you, buddy. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's oh, yeah, he's here yeah, right now. Yeah, he's, 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 um, he's videotaping. Oh, that's my shame. Just getting back to normal. 
and he died. And I was like, all right. It sucks, but you know, it's liable to happen. And then last year, my childhood friend April <laughs> overdosed because she was a closet addict because her issues and her cancer and everything was so bad the chemo and stuff wasn't working anymore and she died and nobody nobody knew she didn't tell anybody like tell anybody and then 15 more people like her up with died with her and they were like executives and had great jobs and all this other stuff and had no idea and this is the one we found out like oh you know Nick Carrow died it's like are you serious like I just thought he smoked pot and drank nope but I wanted people to see today to kind of see the other side of it I personally have never been an addict but it's affected my life tremendously. Right now, even being, my mom's health is deteriorating. I shouldn't even be here today. But if my dad were still around, I wouldn't have that work. You know, if he never went, if he never went down that line. And come to find out, my, my, my father met my mother, he got clean. He was clean for five years until I was diagnosed. And then he fell off the wagon and it just kept going. So because of that, I've always been absolutely terrified that I was gonna go down that road if something tragic happened to me, if I was gonna turn to heroin, because alcohol didn't work anymore, it didn't work anymore. Especially after my best friend died, it was like, but with all the bad shit that's kept happening with two of my best friends that had the same disorder I do, both died from it. April overdosed it. I lost two cousins to cancer, an aunt to MS, and my grandfather in the past year and a half. So I'm thinking, fuck, I don't want to do that road, I don't want to be my dad, and like I find my, found myself drinking more and drinking more like excessively every day. And I'm like, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. So, those of you that don't know, Shine Down is one of my favorite bands, and that's why I'm wearing this shirt tonight. Because the lead singer struggled with alcohol and heroin for a really long time. And I was watching this podcast the other night, it's been clean two years, March 1st. I'm just hearing, and, and this, is, this is just, that's another reason why I was talking today about how amazing music is. problem with heroin, I was like, that's why. Because of my dad. And it was speaking to me, and I understood it, and I got it. And it's just like, if he can conquer the demons that he conquered, and fall off the wagon, and get on, and fall off, and get on, I can conquer mine, and I will never stoop to that level. So, there is the other side of this shitty fucking thing that needs to be eliminated. But, yes. So, cheers to Andy and Carol. I didn't cry. <laughs> the end of the show. We got everything getting put back together. We still got to put everything back the way it was. It was a successful show. Fucking awesome. We killed it out here. I really believe so but thank you guys for the dream I appreciate it we're gonna get ready to close this piece up we're gonna go inside enjoy the music who knows what could happen <laughs> Here we are. What is up, YouTube gods and goddesses? It is your boy, Mike, from Duck Walk Professional. And it is the day after we had that big Stop the Heroin event for two days. And I'm here at the art setup, cleaning everything up, getting everything packed up, ready to go, so that maybe we could do this again sometime. Who knows? But here's uh, how everything looks after it. 
That's the stage backdrop. As you can see, it looks fucking sick. When the bands were playing up there, it was awesome. Everybody was loving, loving the Trump one. They loved that Obama liar. And you know, we did our best up here. For the first time, I think it was pretty cool. Um, it was an awesome adrenaline rush. It was cool to go out there and do something different. Um, thank you everybody for the support. Thank you for everyone who took the time to read the literature, you know, about this art setup. And thank you for everyone who participated in the performance art. Thank you to the neighbors over here. They were so fucking cool. And then this is what we got looking at right now. And we gotta clean this area up for the dream. And then we'll get started and get everything going for the next time. Oh, and there's Tuck coming right now. I was a heavy heart to carry. My beloved was way down. My arms around his neck. And my fingers laced to crown. I was a heavy heart to carry. My feet dragged across the ground.